Good morning to all. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss on stains and stain removals. So I divided the slides into different five criteria. So first slide, the first session, we are going to discuss on what is stain. Then we'll move to general procedures of stain removals, the classification of stain, the principles of stain removal, and strain removal procedure. Stain. A stain is a spot or localized discoloration left on fabrics by reaction with or absorption of a foreign substance. Stain removal or spot cleaning is a skill that demands special attention, specific techniques and long experience. Two main factors so you are going to discuss one is com composition and color of fabrics and the nature and age of stain. So what is the general procedure for stain removal? So follow the steps given here for removing the stain from fabrics. First identify the stain, then classify the stain, then select the reagent to be used, then select the procedure to be used, then proceed step by step to remove the stain. So general procedure of stain removal steps are here for removing stains from fabrics. Identify the stain, classify the stain, Select the reagent to be used, select the procedure to be used, then proceed step by step to remove the stain. Identification of stain. For removal of non-stain, the first step to be identify the stain. This helps to selecting the reagent and procedure to be adopted for their removal. The different stains show different characteristics. The stain may be identified based on their color texture or order. Color means the color of stain generally gives a strong clue as what the stain is. A red stain may be due to ink, tomato, lipstick, nail polish, blood or some other medicines. A yellow stain may be caused turmeric, a medicine, a gravy or mangoes. Blue or black marks may be ink stain. What's texture? By touching the surface of stain, a clue may be obtained. For instance, if the stain is hard to the touch, it may be egg. A soft stain could be oil, key, lipstick or any grease based stain. Sticky stains may be glue or gum. Stiffness may be caused by egg or some other albumin stain and paint stain usually have a smooth feel. The visual texture or appearance of the stain also give some clue for a kind stain. Wax and paint stains build up on the surface of fabric. The oil and fat causes transition stains. Odor. Odor means if the surface of the stain is rubbed with the fingers and then the finger and the stain are smelt, it might be helpful to identify the stain. For instance, egg, medicine, food, perfume, and don't have characteristic orders. The classification of stain. See, stain can be classified into different categories. Animal stain, vegetable stain, tree stain, mineral stain, acidic stain, natural dyes and pigments, sugar solutions with the coloring agent. So, animal stain. These are caused by animal products such as blood, egg, milk, meat, urine and so on. The major content of these stains except urine is a protein therefore warm water should never be used on them it coagulate the protein and set the stain so once again animal stain is caused by animal products such as blood egg milk meat urine and so on so you have to keep it in the mind therefore warm water should never be used on them next one is vegetable stain the stains are caused by plant products such as tea coffee juices, fruit, grass, tomato, gravy, wine and so on. The major component of many of these stains are cellulose and plant pigments. Next is grease stain. The stains are from grease or summer pigments matter with a grease base. In this includes stains such as butter, curry, oil, paint, varnish, tar, car grease, ghee and so on. A grease solvent or absorbent is required to remove these stain. 
So once again a grease stain which includes stains such as butter, curry, oil, paint, varnish, car grease, ghee and so on. A grease solvent or absorbent is required to remove these stains, mineral stains. These stains are caused by writing ink, medicine, dye stuffs, rust and so on. Acidic stain. These include stains such as urine, especially fresh one, vinegar and medicines contain nitric acid and so on. Then also one more category is there in alkaline stain. It's an old type of urine also will come under this category. The natural dyes and pigments. This class includes stain caused by henna, beetle leaf, tobacco, chocolate, coffee, tea and so on. And synthetic dyes and pigments. This class includes stains from hair dyes, markers, board markers, typewriter ribbons, watercolor and so on. Then finally we are going to discuss on sugar solution with coloring matter. The stains are caused from jam, jelly, soft drinks, syrups and pudding. So once again, just starting from the classification, animal stain, vegetable stain, grease, mineral stain, acidic stain, natural dyes and pigments, uh, synthetic dyes and pigments, then sugar solutions with the coloring water. The principles of stain removal. So principles of stain removal, so we can take several steps. Especially we have to follow the steps for the betterment of stain removal or the betterment of work. Old stain should be as far possible to remove still fresh. If immediate treatment of stains is not possible, it must be removed from garment is washed. Then soak in cold water. The sequence when I mentioned here, maybe we can follow it very simply. Then soak in warm water. Then try to bleach in open air if time permits. Then treat with the hot alkaline solution. Then treat with cold alkaline solution. Treat with the cold acidic solution. Treat with the hot acidic solution. Then treat with an oxidizing bleach. All stains are difficult to remove and may be soaked in glycerin. Whatever the stain, it's very difficult to remove. You have to keep it in the mind that it may be soaked in glycerin. Glycerin makes, makes to be softer. The nature and fabric should stay in contact with each other for minimum time required for an effective stain removal. The room should have a good ventilation. Then after stain removal, the reagent must be neutralized. Example like an acidic solution is neutralized with an alkaline one and vice versa. A thorough rinsing with clean water is essential after each treatment. One of the important facts you have to keep it in the mind, all the shortcuts should be avoided. Classification of stain removal procedure. You can use different methods, different actions to be removed stains. Chemical action is a process of oxidation or reduction reaction. It can be washed out from fabrics. Another method is digestion method. Here enzymes containing products are used as per soft and detergent to break down the stain and use substances that can be bleached out. Drop method is another method. In the stain part of fabrics stretched over the basin drops of stain, removed agent are poured into it. The dip method, the stained area of fabrics is immersed in the stain removal solution. Another method is a steam method, especially going with the steel or wool. Silk or any other colored fabric can be removed by steaming. The stained area saturated with the stain by spreading the cloth over the basin of half or filled with hot water into which small or removal of agent has been placed. Removal of common stains from cellular fabrics. So here, from the basics, I'll give you some of the tips which we can be used in normal life, not only for hotel management or hospitality students, even everybody can try these steps. It will be very easy to remove different types of stains in a day-to-day -day basis. So we'll go to the PPT. It's easy to be understand what are the different types of different methods, different types and different types of stains and different methods or procedures and normally or commonly we are following in the stain removal purpose. Removal of common stain. Fresh beta leaf and blood stains are easy to remove from wool and silk with water. Lipstick, shoe polish and tar stain 
on protein fabrics are treated as a, as mentioned above removal of stain from cellulose fabrics ball point ink rub lightly with cotton swab swab is a cloth cotton cloth soaked in denuded spirit or methylated spirits an old ball point ink stain may be soaked in glycerin to soften then treat blood stain how can we remove blood stain soaked in cold water for about an hour then transfer to lukewarm water contain an enzyme detergent so 30 minutes and longer candle wax we scrap off the surface wax with a blunt knife then place the stain between two sheet of tissue paper and press with a warm iron also you can use hot water but the best procedure to follow with two sheets of tissue paper and press with a warm iron next is chewing gum stain scrap off the surface wax or chewing gum with a blunt knife then apply ice on the stain allow to soak in ice cold water for few minutes then launder it chocolate and cocoa soaked in cold water for about an hour then transfer to lukewarm water contain an enzyme detergent then soak 30 minutes and launder so soaked in cold water for about an hour then transfer to lukewarm water contain an enzyme detergent then soak 30 minutes and launder coffee tea pour boiling water over the stain apply borax solution and allow to dry and pour boiling water over it then launder it curry stains especially you can see that turmeric oil is the main cause which will occur as a stain it's very difficult to remove so apply soap and then bleach in the sunlight if the stain has not disappeared wet it and put back in sunlight again then dye steep the fabrics in water put it in the sun to bleach apply borax solution ext soak in enzyme detergent or warm water solution then launder it fruit and fruit juices white fabric may be bleached with the sodium hypochlorite or colored fabric in a warm borax solution ghee or oil stain so we need to be add some absorbents so that's why rub french chalk on the stain and brush off then wash it with the solution so apply the french chalk powder on the stain then brush off then wash it with the solvent grass stain steep in methylated spirit bleach if required then launder it grease stain so dab with the swab soaked in solvent then launder with hot water gum or glue stain steep in hot water contain a few drops of glycerin so glycerin will soften the stain then launder it in hot water henna soak in warm milk for half an hour then launder it ice cream and milk stain rinse through with the cold water and launder or apply petrol then again laundry to remove the smell of petrol lipstick soften with glycerin then apply methylated spirit the laundry medicine stains steep in warm water wash with the soap and water and steep in methylated alcohol and bleach it perfume do not let the stain age wash immediately in hot water then bleach if required shoe polish stain sponge with liquid detergent if the stain is old soften with glycerin first so i hope so everybody understand from this video i request everybody to go through the stain remover procedure it will be useful for your daily life also so thank you thank you so much